everybody, welcome back. We're here today with Dr. Ken Bach again, my doctor. Welcome, Dr. Bach. Thank you, Chris. It's great to be back. And for those of you who don't know Dr. Bach's work, he is a world-renowned functional medicine and integrative MD. And today we're going to talk about adrenals. So a lot of people are tired and they're fried, and I think they've got some adrenal issues. What do you think, Dr. Bach? I think you're probably right, as usual. <laughs> God, <I love> but, <laughs> but the problem is they don't get diagnosed. Mm. That's really a big problem with adrenals because this is one of the classic areas in medicine that gets missed because we learn in medical school that you're either normal or you're adrenal deficient and you have to pass a certain point where you're just too low. The problem is it's just not that clear cut. It's not black or white. There are a lot of people walking around <clears throat> whose adrenals are insufficient. They're not producing enough. And maybe I should uh, just say something to make people understand what the adrenals yeah, do. What, the actually, adrenals what are these little kind of almond glands uh, above your kidneys, uh, basically that produce, there's two parts. There's an inner part called, called the medulla that produces epinephrine and norepinephrine. These are your neurotransmitter um, that, that, are, that get produced in terms of when you deal with stress. And then there's the outer part that produces cortisol or hydrocortisone, which is a natural adrenal hormone. Now, people actually are scared when they hear of cortisol because everybody thinks of prednisone, which right. is an artificial steroid, steroid, much higher dose and immune suppressive. That means it puts down your immune system. The reality is you can't live without cortisol. Right. It's small physiologic doses are immune enhancing. And so basically, we need it. The key in all the things that I like to talk about is balance. Mm -hmm. So you don't want too much cortisol. That's going to cause all kinds of problems. Like it's almost like if you took too much steroids for too long, you get cataracts, you get diabetes, insulin resistance, but um, you get weight gain. And mm -hmm. But too little. Over time, if your adrenals get too fatigued, you produce too little cortisol and you get symptoms of fatigue, dizziness, especially maybe when you stand up. Your blood pressure is low. We have you go to the doctor's office and all of a sudden your blood pressure is 80 over 60. And, and it's like, whoa, whoa. Okay, spoiler alert. I've been dealing with adrenal fatigue and Dr. Bach has been helping me. I feel like you're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> but all of those symptoms are, are what I felt. And it was so frustrating because I didn't know what it was. And everybody disregarded adrenal issues or adrenal fatigue. And when I came to you, it was so clear. It was just basic. Yeah. This is what I was going through. And I really did chase my tail for about a year trying to figure out what it was, and, and that's what it came to. So adrenal fatigue is when you are experiencing, you're not making enough cortisol. Right, right, it's too low. I mean, it's too low for you. Right. It may not be like when you had, I say, when you had okay. a blood test, it was normal, but lower normal, and then you're told you're not deficient. The problem is that level of normal with your lifestyle was not enough. So we have to support the adrenals. So it's not just a blood test here. Right, and how do we support the adrenals? Okay, so before we get into supplements and yeah. herbs, what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about lifestyle. We're gonna talk that's about it. reducing stress, your favorite topic, right? Yes, reduce, well that's one of the keys because why are we adrenally insufficient? Look at how we're living. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at what you are doing. You mm -hmm. know, 3,000 things in a 2,000 mm -hmm. thing day. Mm -hmm. And you too. Yeah, <laughs> I will agree, I will agree. So I'm talking to myself. Yes. So it's, you know, it's stress management right. and it's basically lifestyle modification. So the first thing is, again, I always say it, it's not, you don't have to go into an intense yoga posture mm -hmm. with your legs up behind your neck and mm -hmm. you're, you know. Or be 100% pure. No, and, you know. so no, you just have to, moderation. Right. So the breath work, follow your breath. Take a minute or two or five minutes, once a day, twice a day, but that's only after we do some lifestyle modifications, which is really key. You mm -hmm. just can't keep on pounding the stress. Got to sleep, and I'm talking to myself with this one. Mm -hmm. You can't be up at midnight doing the computer stuff that we all do. Expect to fall asleep in a minute because it doesn't happen right. if you're on the computer, and then get up at six. And and how does caffeine play in with that? Yeah, caffeine. Uh, I I'm not like caffeine for adrenal stressed adrenals is not great. Mm -hmm. So you try to try to avoid it. I think in a normal person's life who's not overly stressed, a little bit of organic coffee in the morning to me is okay. Mm -hmm. But when your adrenals are stressed, it's not good. Sugar is the worst. Excellent. We know that. Processed sugar, sugar we don't like it. Uh, and it really yeah. stresses the adrenals. Because one of the things that's associated 
with low adrenals is hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Ah. So a lot of the people who are tired, dizzy or lightheaded, and crave sugar, irritable, especially if they don't eat, that's a, that's a clue to hypoglycemia, but whenever we think of low blood sugar, we always think of potential low adrenals. So we go two steps lower and yes. we say there's something going on with yes. the adrenals and we can't just treat the hypoglycemia. Yeah, the diet is key. So, right. I mean, that is part of the thing for adrenals is eating much more protein, a lot less, you know, avoiding refined carbs mm -hmm. and smaller frequent feedings. And, you know, a lot of times we'll have our patients work with nutritionists to come up with the right things. We try to figure out also what they may be sensitive to or mm -hmm. allergic because... Even if it's a, quote, healthy food, that may be a problem as well. You're trying to take the stress off the adrenals because the adrenals will, will rise up to any stress. For the, reason, the adrenals will have to rise up to allergies, asthma, infection. They're so, so vigilant, those, they little, really, they those little glands. I look at them and I see little party hats, and the party <laughs> has just gone on too long. You know what exactly I mean? They right. got a little too crazy and they needed to take it down notch. The neighbors are complaining. Yeah, exactly. Um, so when you talk about protein, you know, a lot of my uh, readers and, and viewers mm -hmm. are vegan, so they can increase the amount of plant-based proteins that right. they're consuming. That's right. Yeah. That's fantastic. Um, thank you so much for teaching us about our adrenals. And actually, before we go, are there real any quick. herbs? We yeah, can talk quick. about supplements. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, there are a few supplements, vitamin C, vitamin B6, panathenic acid, and there are a few herbs. Uh, licorice, gl glyceriza is one. That will also help raise the blood pressure. But if you have high blood pressure, you got to be careful. Um, ashwagandha, um, Korean ginseng, uh, these things. Uh, all a lot of times, rhodiola is a fantastic one, especially when you're really stressed. It can be very, very relaxing. So, Dr. Bach, if people want to find out more about you, where should they go? They can go to my website, which is uh, www com. So it's Bach B O C K Integrative com. And uh, they call me, my, my practice is Bach Integrative Medicine in, in right around here. Right, right around here. here. And you could maybe run into me at Garden Cafe. Maybe you run into me and Dr. Bach. Maybe I'll be in the waiting room. room. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Dr. Bach. Uh, it's always a pleasure, Chris. Great. Thanks. <laughs> and thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling, and how you are going to take it down a notch, my friends, so that we can listen to our good body, our good buddy, mm -hmm. Dr. Bach. <laughs>